Okay, um, so so what's your name first to begin with? Sayama okay. Ferris. And, and how long have you been at the Slab City? In about three years. About three years, okay. And um, so what do you think about the, the count that they're doing there? There has to, to be some sort of, of internal circulation of capital. Okay. The only money that comes into here, it comes in in, in subsidy. You know, Social Security, food stamps, and stuff like that. If you had some way of redistributing that, like, you know, some, something like a, a, you know, a co-op of some sort that sold, bought and sold foods, so, okay. they, so they could use their food stamps at it. Okay. See, but those type of businesses are losing so much money that you can't do them anymore. Right. You follow what I'm saying? So, so what it needs is circulation of capital. If, if the capital which is coming in and Social Security and that routine and food stamps and stuff could be circulated twice, then this place would look a whole lot better. Okay. So what brought you to Slap City three years ago? I'm broke. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's the reason everyone's here is they're broke. I mean, they got other problems. But the reason they're here is they're broke. The reason they don't leave is they like it. Okay. You know what I mean? So how do you like it so far? Um, well, uh, for a person, that, uh, de there's a lot of people here that can't defend themselves. You know, I'm 83 years old. I still feel like I can defend myself. You know, so, so for me, it works. But it doesn't work for a lot of people. A lot of people that are here are women that work their life as a contract laborer or a restaurant or something like that, and they're drawing 200 to 400 a month plus SSI. There's not enough money for them to live on. They can't protect themselves. You know, thieves can just come in and take what they want. So they become easy victim for thieves. Since there's a lot of easy victims for thieves, you have a lot of thieves. You follow what I'm saying? The only reason that thieves are here is because they have easy targets. If you make the targets harder, you know, some sort of a community region, these people don't want to socialize with each other. They socialize with each other only so long as they get along, which doesn't last long. So, so this isn't the type of people for organized shit because it just doesn't work because they're internally destructive. Um, I see that you have a Marine uh, hat. You're, yeah. a, you're a veteran? Yeah. yeah. How long did you serve? Um, I was in uh, four years and two years inactive. It was a six-year obligation. So, are you a, are you a, are you a long life are you a long life California resident? No, I've, I've lived partially in California for many many years. I've, 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 for the past uh, ten years, eleven years, I've spent half my time in Arizona, half my time in California. And about three years ago, I decided to change my residency from California to Arizona. I mean, from Arizona to California. So I'm in the process of changing my residency from California, Arizona to California. Because I've been paying California prices on Arizona wages, on my Social Security and stuff. So it's beneficial for me to come to California rather than remain in Arizona, especially since I'm spending half my time here. You follow what I'm saying? So this right here, and uh, the what, what 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 is going on in America as a whole is the bottom end of the economic scale faces so much, you know, so much oppression upon it. They're at the bottom of a pyramid, and they feel the weight of that. You know, and and it's become so great, and there's so little escape from it. You can't sit up on the side of the road and sell stuff anymore. The reason you can't do that is sales tax. And so sales tax has become the reason, basically, that you have all these people, and they're not smart enough to realize that if property tax were still in existence rather than sales tax, these people here who have nothing wouldn't be having to give up a part of what they have coming in. They can't afford that. And this is going on all over the country. It's not just here. The wealthy in this country pay absolutely no taxes. Those taxes, if they do pay them, are passed on from one source to the other one and all come from the bottom end. There's just too damn much weight on the bottom end of the economic scale in this country. And that's the reason all this happened. 
So what would you like for the local government to do about Slab City or for Slab City? Uh, transportation, transportation, communications, you know, circulation of capital. As far as transportation, um, what kind of taxis? Um, well, well, the taxi people won't come into here. It's got to be, it's got to be this bus that comes in and stops right there. That's the that's the only thing that's going to work. You, you you can you can get all the little people and all the goddamn, you know, the other people that are that are driving for people. They will not come into here. Every now and then you'll get someone that will. But there has to be communications in and out of here. Okay. Yeah. That's that's you know, uh, the federal government needs to be running a bus in and out of here, out of here two or three times a day. The if federal, government, that, the the, federal the, government needs, needs to be to out here. That. Needs to be out here. Well, I, I, I don't see anyone else stepping forward. They pay for everything anyway. You know, they guarantee you every, everyone wages. Mm -hmm. You work for the county, county, county sheriff's department. Those wages are guaranteed by the U.S. government. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we understand what, what what's going on with that department. And that that in itself has become political. The, there is a police force in this country that refuses to hire conservative Republicans. Ninety percent of the police enforcement in this country are conservative Republicans, and they're getting bigger, and they're all voting as a block. Do, do you see what it, this militarism is going to continue? We're going to have the world's largest jails. We're going to have the lar largest police force. That's going to go on forever. And the people who, it, who are benefiting from that pay no taxes. Hey, we'll catch you later. Thank you, sir.